So guys, today we're going to be building a Starbucks, and this is going to be more of a building episode, less of a tour episode, mainly because the Starbucks is small, and I want to make this video a little longer than, like, one minute. So, yeah, uh, I'm also going to do, like, a how I built it. Hello guys, welcome back, it's Jay Johnson, and today we are over the thing that we deleted in my previous episode. You see, we deleted a... Nice school. It's sad, but it needs to be deleted. Anyways, yeah, so the an update came out where we have revolving doors, and it's mainly for shops. Now, I thought about my shopping section, and now thinking about it, I may, like, I may make this taller. One, I want to match, like, a city vibe and making everything tall and big. Two, I'd, I want to really try out the, like the new revolving doors and like putting a revolving door like in a hair salon or in a grocery store In a grocery store it will maybe work, but in a hair salon definitely not uh, Additionally we have my uh, there's new elevators and I've been thinking about adding an elevator not on this first floor I don't want to go to work, but on this second floor right here at an elevator because currently we just have this spiral staircase so we add an elevator, I think that'll look very nice. But anyways, let's get back into like the actual video and what I'm gonna do. So guys, uh, I plan, oh wait, let me get rid of these lights for a second. I plan to make a sort of Starbucks shape right here, like a sort of Starbucks thing. By the way, another thing that they added, you see I, I, I'm doing a roof right now. You can make stuff bigger, like an overhang. I don't know if you do this on mobile, which is currently the thing I'm playing on right now. You can make it taller. I, I, I like this adjusting your sizes. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna use this a lot in my builds because I sometimes I don't really like roofs being like big and like sometimes I don't like roofs being too small. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna use that. Anyways, let's get back to the actual point of this video, a coffee shop. Anyways, let's get into the small Starbucks. So this is my layout. It is going to be, yeah, a very small building. Uh, it's just going to be like a really small coffee shop. And I, I kind of like like small little buildings. They work. They don't take up too much space. And they serve their purpose. So it's not going to have that much seating. It may have like two seats just to look out of. But besides that, like you're kind of expected to eat like outdoors when it's nice. So yeah. So this revolving door is the most expensive door at uh, $2,700, so I'm not going to buy that one. But I'm still going to try a new door. I'm going to actually try this door, because this door looks like a door you'll see at like a shop. I may like replace all these doors with this one, because I think it's more of like a shop-related uh, door. So yeah, I'm definitely going to add this door right here. It's, uh, it's a new door, the commercial door. So yeah, as you can tell, this uh, update was clearly a shopping update mainly. So it has a lot to do with sh uh, shopping. So like commercial stuff, we had like commercial like appliances or restaurants in the past. Now we're having like commercial things for like everyday shops. We also have an exit sign, which I'm actually quite so happy to use. Anyways, the first thing I'm going to start off with is I always, so this is where like the cashier is going to be. Uh, I like to color this in a brick color. Uh... Why I like coloring it with this in a brick color is mainly because uh, it gives it like that sort of Starbucks feel, you know. Uh, and also that uh, I will color this in like a grayish color, a brown. Uh, yeah, right here. Now, you're probably looking at me crazy while I'm coloring this in the brown color. is because I'm, I'm going to use the wall trims to my uh, advantage, you could say. So after we colored uh, the walls with a brownish color, uh, I changed color a little bit. We're gonna get the wall trims, and we're gonna do, I think we should do medium, yeah, that works. We're gonna put that all over the place, uh, and make the wall trims green, so we have like the Starbucks green feel to it. I'm not really liking this, uh, oh crap. I'm not really liking this really kind of uh, dark brown to the place. I want to think a little bit uh, lighter, and I think I may go with this brown. So guys, we got the basic frame done. 
uh, so I made the walls actually gray, and then I, I still kept the green and white, like, trimming at the bottom. Uh, and then, yeah, I did the floor, and I chose this, like, planks instead of the smoother planks, because this planks, like, emphasizes that it's planks, and I like that, like, theme about it. And, yeah, I made the brick wall a bit duller and not, like, a bright red. So now at this point, we're going to add, like, some, I guess, counters. So I I think I'm going to use this, like, just for, like, the back counters in general. I don't really go to Starbucks. I don't really know what they use. But, yeah, I'm just going to use these back counters. And then I'm going to use them for the front. Okay, I don't think that may work. So guys, this is currently the design that I have, but I don't really like this. What I don't like about this is that I don't feel like it's really enclosed. Like you, you can clearly see like that's like where the workers work, and this is where like the customers get their food. I don't like about I don't like that about this uh, thing that I have right here. So uh, I'm gonna get something quite expensive. I think it does. I think it does cost two thousand dollars. It is in storage. If we go down here, yeah, we have a uh, this thing, but I think it is worth it. So guys, I think this does take up a lot of space. It looks a little awkward, but I'm gonna add the appliances on this back table and see how it look after that. So guys, I basically placed all the appliances that we are gonna need for the shop: a, a blender, a mix stuff. I placed two coffee machines because of just, of course, coffee. I don't know what this is. I think it's a kettle for, I think, tea. Toaster for, like, your bread and, like, I don't know. I think only your bread. Uh, a fryer, actually. A fryer makes donuts, so that's really good. Uh, microwave. Uh, microwave just to heat. A lot, there's a lot of stuff you can make with a microwave. And the refrigerator just to get, like, certain stuff. So, now I just placed it all down. I like just to place everything down first. Then I guess go into detail of like where I'm gonna put it. And I'm gonna put a and if I go to a storage again, I'm gonna put a nice I don't, I, think, I don't think it should be glass actually. I think it should actually be out of made out of this material. Like a nice like overhang you could say uh, to like I don't know separate stuff. When doing this design, I totally forgot about something. The menu. I want the menu to go on the brick wall. This is an issue because of the fridge. I deleted the shelves already. But I'm trying to find... I want a huge picture. Yeah, right here. Okay, I, I don't think I am able to do that. So I may have to put... Uh, my huge menu on, like, maybe a wall or whatnot. Which doesn't look as nice as I wanted it to, or like what not or like what I envisioned it to. I mean, it could go right here. Yeah, that works. That works. That works. So, right, guys, I think we have everything in like the right location and whatnot. Now, I think it's like all a matter of just coloring everything in. So, instead of making this fridge like completely white, I think oh, like a darker color, just a slightly darker color, would just look a little nicer in this context. So I think we're done the desk area, and I'm I'm really starting to like it. Once you get some desserts in this place, it will be this like kind of area will be really nice. But I want to do uh, this simple small seating. Now, yeah, it's not going to be a lot. It's, it's not going to be like a huge amount of seating. There's just going to be a. Uh, we also need to put the logo like probably right here or not. So guys, I think I am going to use. Uh, where's the window? This window, uh, yeah, it's a pretty, like, solid window. I may use, like, three of these overlooking uh, the view of Center City and whatnot. So, you know exactly what this part is going to be, uh, I had in my head. So, guys, at first, I was going to use, uh, some round tables, but those do not look nice in the sense that they, like, they can't, like, hold a lot of people. I, if I had a bigger Starbucks, I'd, I would definitely use the round tables. But one, they're expensive. They're $600 per table. That's already a lot. Two, they just don't, they just can't fit a lot of people. So what I am going to do is I'm going to go to where is tables. 
Now we get this patio like table and make like many columns of this. Just three probably. And then I'm gonna make like face to face tables. So guys, uh, I basically added some nice three rows of chairs. I mean, this wasn't meant to hold a lot of people, but what I now don't like is that like the chairs are kind of inconsistent. So I'm gonna like switch these to these. Actually, that looks bad. But yeah, the chairs are pretty inconsistent. I'm just gonna make sure they're not like any other like bright color. Yeah, like that works. That works with me. But yeah, so this you get like a cozy vibe from this. And now I need to add like some nice cozy-ish lighting and then do the X there because that's really lacking. So yeah, this is kind of my exterior. It's not the best. But uh, yeah, I I didn't really like the brick that he chose, but I wanted to be like a like a greenish white color. So he chose this nice greenish white color. I think the door, the new door fits him perfectly. I added the napkins on the table. This I just made purely brick. No one's gonna see this part, like this back part. This is all gonna be covered with buildings, so I didn't really focus on that outer detail. This is gonna have the Starbucks logo on it. Uh, what I'm also gonna do is maybe add like a nice like garden like right here, maybe an outdoor eating like seat. Actually, I could do that actually right uh, now, or maybe a bench. That would be nice too. I delete this roof. Actually, it's a really nice roof, and it'll work well. But I really uh, like having a uh, thing hanging down. Like uh, I'm gonna get like th uh, this warm lighting mainly, uh, and like put that around this starbucks and whatnot guys just saying this is hilarious uh uh yeah we're changing this so guys we are done the coffee shop as you can see i'm on a nice bench i think a motorcycle is approaching i don't know why he's there but he is there uh anyways uh yeah uh let's actually get to touring this place well uh there is a crazy lady following me so uh she's gonna be in like the video, I guess. Anyway, uh, let's just open here. We see we have a nice, like, this was going to be like a chalkboard, but now it is a coffee sign with, like, some nice, uh, cute coffee logos. Anyways, yeah, I actually really like this place. It, it's really nice. Uh, you can see we have a six seating for right here, a two seating right here. That makes eight places to sit in total. As you can also have uh, making coffee. We have a nice menu right up here. We have uh, the coffee, uh, whatever that is. Uh, and it's, yeah, this is really nice and I'm uh, really happy of it. So I'm trying the, our new cafe. Uh, and I'm currently making some nice blueberry muffins for our uh, customers who probably won't come. Uh, we're going to put all the blueberry muffins in the nice showcase. I already made a strawberry milkshake. So, uh, yeah, this is a really nice Starbucks. Now the time has come for another commercial. I'm really starting to like this. Have you ever sat in the park? Bored. I mean very bored. Or have you ever sat at your desk craving for a beverage and looked in your kitchen and couldn't find anything? Then look no further than our local cafe sitting prestigiously in the new Bloxburg town of JG. The cafe has a beautiful exterior with, of course, a nice logo. Interior is even better with a beautiful wooden floor and a warming feel to it. This is all you need. Our luxurious seating will give you all the comfort you need and our bars have a nice view over the center city. We have a variety in our menu, and there's many desserts to choose from, to coffee, to tea, to cake, to dessert, everything. We made sure our food is to perfection, and we have an advanced kitchen to provide all your needs. And we don't wanna forget about the nice, coffee we have high skilled workers to provide you many benefits so enjoy our local coffee shop like a